What is one thing you find attractive, but deny that it is, when someone breaks character with me? For example, making a serious prestigious person laugh in a professional sitting or where it would be inappropriate. A good laugh. There is something so magical about watching someone laugh so hard that they cry a little. Or when they laugh so hard they stop making any noise. Even a little snort while laughing is so endearing. Guys who look dark scary, but are actually really sweet. Like getting to know them as a friend and finding out they're really sweet or a goofball, but everyone thinks they're scary. I think it's the feeling of knowing a secret. Alternatively for girls. Girls who are really shy and quiet, but finding out what interests they have that makes them loud and excited. It's so cute seeing someone come alive for their interests. Girls with a bit of muscle, not steroid level. I'll deny it to avoid the gay jokes but I work out and like a girl who looks like she could help me move the pool table. I haven't seen this one yet but there was once a girl I thought was cute for her kinda messed up teeth. A couple crooked or sideways teeth really just looked cute for some reason. I'm not talking about missing teeth or yellowed or nasty ones. I mean just really not straight and imperfect chompers. Guys that are socially awkward, quiet or just bad at making friends, either works. It's weird but some people really do just absolutely pull off acne acne scarring and I can't imagine them looking cute without it. When they're ticklish and let you tickle them. Of course oftentimes it ends with me being the one tickled because BF is stronger and bigger than me. But in the end we're both laughing and having fun. Childishness. To a fault that is. But damn it if I don't love my boyfriend's childish curiosity and humor and enthusiasm for things he loves. It's just so wholesome and endearing to see a grown adult be so excited. Edit. Apparently I used the wrong word and need to emphasize that I meant childlike, not childish. Though I think they can be used interchangeably and still get the point across depending on context. <laughs> Women that are just a little ugly. There's something strange about a perfect looking woman. Didn't know it before I had this one phone call but I've definitely got a thing for voices. I like men with crooked noses that look like maybe they've been broken once or twice, and veiny hands. When men are a little grungy from doing trade work. Tall women, like, tall as I am or more, at 6 feet, rare, but damn if that one tray doesn't overcome almost all others. Edit, I tend to deny it because people always make it a psychological subdom thing, myself. I don't know why others do, putting this here because a few people have asked and it feels weird answering the same thing repeatedly. Weird colored hair immediately sparks my interest, but I'll deny it cause it makes it sound like I am chasing a manic pixie dream girl type. Choker necklaces. I know it's supposedly a cheap way to look seductive, but it makes me go all dopey to see a woman with a smooth neckline and a lacy choker. Resting bitch face. Not so much the look itself but the way that the face instantly changes from annoyed looking to a smile or a laugh is super attractive. Awkward guys. It's nice to see them actually pushing themselves to talk to you and fumbling over their words into order to tell you shitty jokes. I find it really cute edit. A lot of you guys seem to think that being attractive is a key factor. A lot of girls like guys for different things and being attractive varies. Some chicks like a dude with built and muscles. Some chicks like chubby dudes don't box yourself in. Being animated while talking. My boyfriend does not sit still and talks with his hands. I pretend to pout when he gets up from cuddling me to pace around or accidentally pulls my hand with his to wave it around when talking but I actually find it super cute. I've accidentally gotten smacked in the face a couple times but goddamn if it's not the most endearing thing lol. Those girls that are just the ones that no one talks to. That are really nice but no one gives them the time of day. Like a hidden gem of a person. Smells. For example, when a guy wears cologne or fruity perfumes smell of hair. Not dirty and washed but not washed either just the scent of the hair. The natural musk of a man. Not sweaty just the natural odor the person has. Guys who are strong, but also kinda fat. Like football linemen. I find a high contrast between hair and skin color attractive. Pale with black hair, or black with white hair. I don't tell a lot of people the second half of that because I don't want to be set up on a blind date with a cougar. Girls who have ears that stick out from their hair. It's so cute and dorky to see those ear tips poking out from their hair. A lot of other guys don't like this, but to me it's one of those dorky cute things. Women who look really plain. I only deny it to them because I don't want to be insulting by calling them plain looking, but I'd happily admit it to anyone else. 
I don't know why, but women like that are the most attractive of all. I am instantly attracted to snarky sarcastic men, but not really outright sarcasm. It's the quick-witted sarcasm that a lot people don't really catch right away. Sarcasm or bad jokes, I'll hide my smile and pretend to be annoyed but it's actually super endearing. Every man I've ever been attracted to has been emotionally reserved. There's just something about the quiet, stoic type um. I like cuddles, snuggles, and physical intimacy. It sounds cringy or awkward to say as a guy, but there's not much better to me than getting a lap pillow, hugging a lot, or being close and sharing warmth. Edit, RIP inbox, but I read all of your comments. There's a lot of great advice and definitely quite a few cuddlers in here. For anyone needing cuddles, here's a virtual hug or a cuddle or whatever will help you feel better. Oh. This one's become more commonly accepted lately, but boys that look like they haven't slept in years. Something about the deep set eyes dark circles half smiles like they don't have the energy to move their faces fully makes me literally space out staring at them. Like a schoolgirl in a movie I swear. I can sit there with my face in my hand just looking at some guy with shadows under his eyes for a whole class. Edit. To all of you saying this post made you feel better. It is my pleasure. You're are cute and typically the most caring people I meet. Men showing outward vulnerability. When I see men cry, mention they're in pain, or show sickness, I instantly want to come by and nurse them. Doesn't matter what our relationship is, I just want to bake cookies, pay house visits, and rub your back. I wouldn't announce it in public cause it sounds like I have a roleplay fetish. Let's just say my fiance has gained weight since we've been together and I'm not complaining. That cute little devil smile when she knows she's about to do something wrong but can't hide it. Okay, I'll say mine. I like a man that has very little sexual stamina. With the idea being pussy so good, he can't possibly hold out for long. It gives a girl a confidence boost. So what I've learned from reading all of these, is that people have widely differing definitions of beauty. So I shouldn't try to be as attractive as I possibly can, because no matter what I do, I will always seem completely ugly to someone, and to another. I am the perfect man, so the best thing I can do is be myself so that someone eventually loves me for myself. Edit. Jesus man loving Christ. I didn't think this comment would be such a hit. Thanks for the awards, whoever gave them to me. Guys who are inexperienced with sex and intimacy, I have literally no idea why. Calluses on hands, that shit really gets me going. ETA, Dorito shaped men too, the broader the shoulder and the narrower the waist is really attractive. Men with bold noses, like nothing freakish, but classically attractive small medium sized smooth noses have no personality. As a straight man, the more like a stereotypical lesbian a girl looks, the more attractive she is to me. Pixie cut undercut, piercings, tattoos, combat boots, flannels, looks like she hasn't slept in 3 days. Guess I'm a glutton for punishment. Something about men who are muscular but shaped kind of like a teddy bear, and gangly guys with kind eyes, and pretty much anyone who has a good sense of rhythm. I really dig unique people, the ones who don't fit in. Not just nerds or geeks, not a straight A student type of person, just someone who looks at the world in a unique way and likes to talk about it, someone who laughs at mistakes and is happy to share information about themselves. Too many people get caught up over what others think of them, but those who just strut their stuff are so fucking attractive. Basically, be yourself y'all, it's hot af when you're unique, upside down face, winking face. Men with long, skinny fingers, literally, take me home. All night, all morning, edit, apparently the hand fetish is to girls what the foot fetish is to guys, face with tears of joy, in my opinion, it's less disgusting. When boys are showing emotion, because they are stuck with the idea they have to be men and can cry, but if my guy friends cry or show any emotions it's just so cute to me. When guys are kinda shy and awkward I think it's cute but I don't really tell people since people can be so judgmental and just instantly will judge them as weird. It's also difficult because I'm not the best at talking to new people so chances are if the guy is too shy to talk to me first we won't end up talking at all. I need some explanation first. IDK, the boy that I like remembers like, science terms and stuff and no nobody else remembers them. When he says them because everyone else forgot, a lot of friends call him teacher's pet or that stuff but it's a huge turn on for me. While it's definitely not a turn on for other dudes, I think it's cute when girls have minor buck teeth. 
Slim skinny men. I have zero justification for it. I just do. I rarely mention it, as I was called fatphobic for doing so. I'm a serial offender of gaining interest when someone is unattainable. Some classic wanting something more once you realize you can't have it anymore. Like once I realize they are in a relationship like someone else or once we grow distant. Kind of sucks because it makes me miss my exes sometimes even though I know things ended for a reason and I forget all their bad qualities and just dwell on the good. Ugly girls, it's kind of like I always seem to find something attractive in those girls who people outright just call ugly. It doesn't need to be big of a deal, her eyes, her lips, her hair or how her face is structured etc. I could go on, but I think you know what I mean. I try to lose my way in small details like those. D. Not having someone who looks like a model or needs to look like one. When girls wear what makes them comfortable and they are just happy and comfy, not giving a crap what people think. That is truly very attractive to me. I am a dude. I like girls with a resting bitch face, or someone who is reserved. Puns. Lots and lots of groan inducing puns. Sarcasm also goes a long way for me along with a touch of irony. Macabre sense of humor. When someone has the bravery to fashion such humor, and the class and finesse to know when, I'd like to deny that I find it attractive because it can be very easily misunderstood. Glasses. I don't find them particularly attractive on most women but my gf has them and I think she's literally the cutest person ever. Honestly, I'm just attracted to people who are genuinely good people. Men and boys that don't hide their emotions and aren't afraid to be a soft boy. Women and girls that are unapologetically themselves and aren't afraid to stand up for someone themselves. Just good people are really fucking hot man id see what gender they are.